Hey everyone, welcome back into the Fairbanks TV News. Time to take a look at the weather with you once again. Mike Schultz, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday, beautiful 75 degree temperatures, lots of sunshine. The same for Saturday and today, well, everything is quite evident what's going on there. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Beautiful shot tonight. This one sent in by Sheena McNabb. Call it a curtain of rain for obvious reasons. You can see the rain falling from the, the clouds there, lit up by the sun in the background. A beautiful again, a beautiful shot again. And always, if you have a photograph to share, send it to photos at ktvf11.com. Your numbers look like this. The normal high is 74. Today's high only 66. The normal low 53. The overnight low 47. Record high 90 in 1918. Down to 35 in 1922. 20 hours and one minute of daylight. A gain, or actually a loss, I should say, of eight minutes from yesterday. And again, our satellite and radar showing that frontal boundary really well defined here, moving rapidly through the interior. You can see behind it uh, still a lot more cloud mass here, so more and more, more rain coming our direction until that system gets by. What else is going on across the rest of the state? Well, we have fog around the Nome area, sunshine over Ketchikan, showers around Juneau, cloudy skies across the Gulf of Alaska, and clouds up in the north slope, 61 degrees for the high for Yukon. Lower 48 weather, not too bad out to the west. A few scattered afternoon showers there. The big news is all these storms that are really in line with the jet stream coming roaring down and then coming right back up again. All tied into this area of low pressure here, helping to ignite those storms. And uh, a lot of hot temperatures down to the south too, near 100 degrees over most of Texas. And then more showers and thunderstorms. And later on this week, it looks like the jet stream is going to remain well to the north, which means more hot temperatures across a large portion of the country, although a little bit cooler air moving in across the Midwest, more storms over the deep south. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. Here's what it looks like. Cloudy skies in the northern sections at Barrow. Showers or rain for Nome and Fort Yukon here in the interior. The rain should be ending or at least wrapping or winding down by uh, afternoon for Healy Delta Junction and Fairbanks, well over southeast Alaska. We're looking at becoming partly, uh, partly cloudy skies, I should say, at Juneau and Ketchikan. 72 degrees at Ketchikan, not too bad. Over the uh, southwest part of the state, rain is likely for Cold Bay, partly cloudy skies for Kodiak and Bethel. And if you head on down to the Anchorage Bowl, well, things are looking pretty good, actually. Partly cloudy skies for Anchorage and Homer and mostly sunny skies in Valdez. Okay, here's your forecast for the remainder of the night. It's going to be a sloppy one. 51 degrees, rainy throughout the night, and the winds should be dying down by later on this evening. Now, tomorrow's forecast, periods of rain will be expected right on into the evening hours, then slowly tapering off 63 degrees. And the extended forecast, you see temperatures once again struggling to get near that 70-degree mark until about Sunday. And off and on, we'll have showers on Wednesday and Friday, but nothing really heavy expected. And like I said, the good news earlier is we were looking at a lot of rainfall coming down in a short period of time. So the rivers might rise a little bit, but for the most part, not nearly as bad as it has been uh, over the last part of the month.